I'm Dr. Amy Osatinsky, and I'm an assistant professor of theater in directing at the University of Northern Iowa. I'm Danny Schmaltz. I'm a freshman here. I'm playing Emily Duchatelet, and I'm a theater for youth major. My name is Mark Nook. I'm the president of the University of Northern Iowa. Hi, my name is Kaylee Sizemore. I'm a senior here at UNI, and I'm working as a dramaturg on our production of Legacy of Light. I'm an astrophysicist at the University of Northern Iowa. My name is Jacob Reha. I am a senior this year, uh, and I'm playing Voltaire. Emily is significant in the field of science because not only did her research provide foundation for other scientists, but her research and her intuitive mind pushed Voltaire to take his studies further into the philosophy of human rights and into scientific history. Voltaire played a very large role in making sure that Emily got the recognition she deserved. Um, originally, the books that she would write, they were under his name and he about a dedication to her, you know, and that's kind of all she got. If they worked on something together, it was published under his name, but he would dedicate it to her um, because of the work that she did. Meeting Emily is what sparked his newfound curiosity for the scientific discoveries of the world. I mean, it's a show written by a woman about women, so to have that sort of representation on both the scientific and the arts aspect of things, it's really cool to have. Plays written by women tend to have more characters for women in them. Um, so there is a conversation that is beginning about this, but it takes time and it's going to be a long time um, before we reach equity, if ever. Women are now welcomed into astronomy. Um, they still face some issues in all of the sciences, but all of the science have become much more gender balanced. There is a lot of work being done in, in the history of astronomy to give credit where credit's due. Gender inequity is a huge issue in the theater and it's actually I think a bigger issue in the theater than many other fields because of the way that theater works. To work with her and to talk about all of these powerful things about the choices that women make between their careers and their families and their children like what is a woman's legacy that's a question we've been asking from day one. So. Having Amy remind us about those things throughout rehearsals has been really powerful and really important, I think, to making sure we're playing these characters accurately and to have that deeper question in the back of our heads throughout the process. You could say that Voltaire was sort of her student um, while she was also learning. So they were like teaching each other and helping each other learn, but um, she was the one who was always really like into science. She was the one who made all of these like giant discoveries and he was the one who said, wow, that's amazing. What does that mean? One of the most uh, significant theories that have come from Emily's work is Einstein's theory of relativity. Without her work to lay the foundation, he may not have come to his conclusions of his theory. So she had a lot of work that allowed future scientists to build off of and to think about things in a different way. Theater has discovered the sciences and science has discovered the theater. And there's some cool things that science can do, especially in the staging and lighting and uh, sort of adding lasers and, and other sort of production techniques. Being able to show spectacular imagery is one of the ways that, that the arts and the and sciences can really connect. And theater would be a good way of doing that to explain what's happening uh, rather than just show what's up there. I really believe you can't have theater without science, at least contemporary theater, um, because so much of what we do in the theater is based on scientific and mathematic principles. Um, if you need light to see the stage, light is science. It works because they, uh, they complement each other in the ways that they aren't strong initially. When you put them together, then you have an intellectual piece that also talks about something incredibly true to, to life. It's really exciting to know that I get to portray someone that most people, they don't know her name at all, you know, and you mention names like Voltaire and Isaac Newton and Einstein. People know those names, but to get to tell a story about a woman who is equally as important and just under-recognized, so that's a really cool opportunity I'm very grateful to have.